Who's that guy you want? Now. Eight years ago, I was put through fucking hell. And over those eight years, I learned a lot. That this group that I'm dealing with, they are not just trolls. They are an internet extreme terrorist cult-like group. And a lot of people have been victimized, attacked, hurt, oppressed. And thanks to a very good friend of mine, I managed to escape that. So I'm doing this stream for everyone out there that has been victimized by these people. It's time to put this to a fucking stop. Because the day that I figured out what was really going on is the day that I swore that I would do whatever I can to protect people like myself. To be the voice for those that don't have one. To free those who have been oppressed by these people. One thing you trolls don't seem to understand is this. I can't and won't be silenced. You can't silence all of us. Not entirely. We will fight back. And we will destroy what you've done. Your hatred is done. Your destruction over. And I can tell you right now, I will not stop and I will not rest until every single person that you push to suicide is avenged. Their deaths were not in vain. They did not deserve what you guys did to them. They did not deserve to die. They didn't deserve the hatred that you bring on. You know what's funny? Yeah, there may be more of you that may be true, but never underestimate your opponent. We may be few in numbers, but trust me when I say, we never stop fighting. We never give in. Because with my friends and the fellow people that you've held captive all these years, we will fight back. And we will destroy you. And you know what song's gonna be playing? The minute that we come to your doorstep, it's going to be this. Because like it or not, me 
and every person. Epidemic Sound have advanced down. search filters to help you easily find the exact mood, genre, duration. Bring you hell. Stay for one minute. Then I'm gonna back down. I'm not. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care if I lose sleep. I will do whatever I have to do to fight you guys and bring you down.
Because you guys, the trolls, are the reason that people like me take their lives every day. And I, for one, am sick and tired of fucking seeing this shit go on. For everybody in the chat right now, how many of you guys are sick and tired of seeing this shit go on? Let me see a show of comments. How many of you guys are sick of this shit? How many of you guys are tired of the hatred, the bullying, the attacks, the terrorism, the being oppressed, not being allowed to do what you want? How many of you guys are fucking sick of that? Because I know I am. I know you guys are watching. Don't be afraid to speak up. Speak up and fucking say something. Don't let these guys push you around. These guys are nothing more than a bunch of pussies. Hiding in their mom's basements, talking shit. Terrorizing people because they don't have good lives. I can tell you one thing for sure. I will not rest until every single person is freed from this hatred. Because, unlike them, I don't terrorize. Yeah, it may be true that I live with my family. That may be true. But at least I'm not out here terrorizing motherfuckers every day. I'm not out here trying to destroy lives. If anything, I try to inspire people. I try to help people. I want people to be able to be themselves and to not have to face attacks from a terrorist group. No one deserves to be bullied. No one deserves to be attacked at all. So yeah, I may live with my family, but at least I'm not a fucking terrorist. Don't believe me? Open your fucking eyes and look around. These people are terrorists. Look at what they do. They terrorize people and they shut people down. Because every time someone speaks out, what happens? Every time someone speaks out, every time someone speaks out against them, what do they do? They silence them. Every time. And I'm sick of seeing it. So that's why I've always stood by this mantra. Fuck the haters. Fuck the troll. All trolls must die. All terrorists will go to hell. Because no one deserves to be bullied. Not me. Not any of you. No one. 
Because let me tell you right now, a lot of you guys might hate me and that's fine. But you know something? I would still give my life for any of you in the comments right now. Dead ass. No joke. If it came down to it, I would stand up for any of you any given day. Because that's what a good person does. Stands up for the weak. I would gladly take up for any of you on any given day if you're being attacked. That's the difference between me and the trolls. I aim to preserve life. I aim to help people. They aim to destroy lives and destroy people. I aim to preserve it. Because that's what I am here to do. That's what I was built for. That's why I was put on this fucking earth. To help people like myself. To be the voice for those that don't have one. I am that beacon of hope that people rely on. And I will continue to do that until I'm dead in the fucking ground. Which is why this next song is for those that have been put down the exact same way that I have for all these years. Get the years. gift you want this holiday from Metro. Like a new iPhone so 12 you're out there for 99 And you're like me. This one's for you guys. Upgrades are the ones remembered In the desert we call home On the slaves of the cold December Find a voice to call their own Let them we are united In the eyes of the greatest storm Let them we are united This will will be reborn Five, four, three
Let me ask you guys something. Why did you guys put him out in the cold when he did nothing wrong? Hmm. Why did you guys do that? He didn't deserve that. You guys deserve to be out in that cold. Anybody that's responsible for him being out there, that's on them. That's not on me. That's not on anyone else. It's on the people that put him there. Oh, you're fine, Lucy. I'm not aiming that at you. I'm aiming that at the fucking people that put him out in the fucking cold. And believe me, if I had a way to help him, I would. I would gladly help him if I had the room. If we had the space here, I would gladly take him in, in a fucking heartbeat. Matter of fact, I wish I had the room. I wish I could. But sadly, I don't. But to those people that put my friend, my brother, out in the fucking cold, you guys will burn in hell when the time comes. Oh, really? We supposedly have the room, right? Supposedly. Well, I hate to break it to you, man. We don't have the room. Hey, 90... Hey, 96 cents. If you're such a good friend, why don't you do it? If I'm supposedly fake, then prove it, motherfucker. Oh, wait, you can't. Because just like the others, you're a follower, not a leader. You buy into the fake-ass bullshit. And you know what happens to fakes? You get cut off. And like I said, Lucy, you're fine. I have nothing against you. I have everything against the people that put my friend out in the fucking cold. I have something against those that terrorize people like myself. And want to try to run this country like it's some sort of Nazi Germany. I hate terrorists. I hate the people that do this shit. And if I had it my way, all people that terrorize and bully would be dead. Because they deserve death. They bring death, they should get death. How many people have they killed? that we don't know about. Take a look at Inquisitor. They were responsible for his death. They were almost responsible for mine. How many people had to die? Hmm. They were responsible for Jamie Nicole's death. They were responsible for a lot of deaths. So my question to you is Lucy, how many people have to die before someone steps up and says enough is enough? How many people have to suffer and die 
before someone steps up and fucking does something. Because this shit has gone on long enough and it needs to stop. These people didn't deserve that. The people that took their lives, they didn't deserve what they got. I didn't deserve what I got. Tibbs didn't deserve to get thrown out either. He didn't ask for that. He didn't. He was minding his own business. Not doing anything wrong. Just minding his own business. And what did they do? They kicked him out. All because he decided to be a bigger person and fight back against what's really going on. And that to me is reason enough to step up and fight back. I don't care if people call him weeb. I don't care if people don't like him. At the end of the day, Tibbs did more for me than anyone ever has in all the years of me being bullied and attacked. That man got me away from the hatred, gave me a new outlook on life, helped me get away from everything, and showed me that I don't have to take this shit. He helped me escape. Now it's my turn to return and help those escape that cannot. It's my turn to help those that can't help themselves. Because now I have the tools to fight back. I have the will and the power and the courage to help those that need it. So if you are out there, you don't have to be afraid anymore. I'm telling you right now, if you are out there and you've been attacked and you're being held down by the same people, don't take it. Get out while you can. Because you can't escape. There is a way out. It's called don't pay attention to these people. Don't give in to their hatred. If they dox you, so what? Who cares? Use that to your advantage. No, he is not. If anything, he helped me, dude. I don't know where you guys get that he's using me for cloud, but he's not. He's the reason why I escaped. He's the reason I got out of all this fucking hell that I've been in. He's the reason that my name got cleared. All the allegations of me being a pedophile got proven wrong. And he's the reason for that. So you, my friend, can sit down and shut your mouth right now. Because he is not a cloud chaser. He is doing what no one else has the balls to do, which is speak out against the troll community, motherfucker. Yeah, you wanna know why he's gone up? Because he helped me. He helped me get away. I know this guy on a very, very personal level. And I can tell you right now, He's not a cloud chaser. If anything, he's a good friend. He's family. To me, that dude is family. 
That's my fucking brother right there. Because he has earned my respect, my loyalty, and more importantly, he has earned my friendship and my brotherhood. That man has done more for me in the past two weeks than anyone ever has. So you can sit down and you can shut your mouth. Or I can ban you right now. Take your pick, man. What's it going to be? You're going to continue to spark your mouth? Or do I have to ban you? Are you going to sit down and shut up? Or are you going to continue to spark your fucking mouth? When you know not of what's real. You don't know the truth. You don't know what's really going on. No, you didn't, dude. And Lucy, let me tell you right now, I do support free speech. I do support that. But what I don't support is people talking shit on my family. People talking shit on people that are telling the fucking truth. This free speech that these trolls are doing, it's not free speech. It's called terrorism. It's called bullying. It's called harassment. That is not free speech. They're using that as an excuse to terrorize other people. People like myself that have been held down for eight plus years. I got lucky. I got out. At the tips, I am beyond grateful for what you've done for me, my friends, and more importantly, my family. My immediate family, dude. We are grateful to you. And we will forever be grateful for what you've done to us and for us. And what you did to me, I can never repay. What you did to me is amazing. You opened my eyes and showed me what's really going on. You showed me that these people are terrorists. And that I don't have to be held back by what they do or what they say. You freed my family from a lifetime of hatred and oppression and terrorism. But more importantly, you gave me a new life. You gave me a new life that I can start over with. And I can promise you, Tibbs, I'm not wasting that fucking opportunity. I'm going to use that opportunity to help as many people as I fucking can. Because whether I stand with 100,000 people, 200 people, or I stand alone, at the end of the day, I will continue to be the voice for those that ain't got one. I will continue to aim to inspire and help and free those that have been enslaved by these people. Because no one deserves hatred. No one deserves terrorism. No one deserves to be held down the way that these people held me down. You were such a good listener. So to those Thomas. It makes me feel that so are out special. there wondering, you are, you are is there anybody out there listening? This makes me feel really special too because you know. Yes. We interrupt your telecast with an emergency address from President Cecilia Harris. We are out here. United Global Alliance. We hear you. In a few minutes. And we are listening.
justice over the rebel known as the prophet. Let this stand as a warning to every we man, hear you, woman, and, and a we're child here. tempted to follow in his to tent. anybody out there? Diversity of we God are here. For those that have been terrorized, we're here. We hear you. And we're here to help. Our truth is the only truth. <laughs> Now, the reason I chose that song is because for all you guys being oppressed and held down, it's time you wake up. Take a look around at what they're doing. Think about what they're doing. Like, really sit down and think about what they're doing to you guys. They're holding you down, not allowing you to speak out for yourself. And if you stand up for people like me, you're automatically a target. And you guys don't deserve that. You guys don't deserve to be targets. You guys deserve to live free. You guys deserve to be free of hatred. And like I said, to anybody out there that is truly a victim of these people, please reach out, say something, speak up. Do not be silent. Because when you're silent, they win.
when you are silent and don't fight back and don't stand up for yourself. They win. I'm the one. That's what's up. A lot of people don't know this, but my grandparents that passed away in 2001, they were deaf as well. So yes, I know how to speak sign language. Been doing this since I was a kid. And for those of you wondering, yes, I was very close to my grandparents. Very close, actually. I even dare to say that they were my second parents, in a sense. Like, Brandon, don't get me wrong, I had my mom and dad as a kid. But my grandparents, they were like my second set of parents. I was super, super close to them. So I can honestly say that, yeah, I was close to them. but I don't care. The voice of vengeance. Mobile games are going big. Play the official. Come and die and 
And I know a lot of people are probably sitting there laughing right now. But I don't care. Let them laugh. Let those motherfuckers laugh. You know why? Because in the end, I will be the one laughing. I will be the one Standing on top of the mountain when it's all said and done. And don't get me wrong. I understand that I might not be able to save everyone. And I'm aware of that. I'm aware there are some, that there are some people that I might not be able to help, that I might not be able to save. And I'm okay with that. But I will still do whatever I can to help those that I can. I will help those that I can help. You know, I don't care. If I get hit on, I don't care if people laugh. I could care less about what people think of me. If they hate me, don't care. I'm not here for them. I'm here for those that need me. I'm here for those that don't have a voice. I'm here to speak for those that cannot speak for themselves. I'm here for those that went through the same shit that I've went through and that I've gone through. So you can sit there and laugh all you want with your little laughing emojis. I don't care. Go ahead and laugh. Because your laughter shows weakness. Yeah.
Cave to me is basically freedom. It's a giant open universe where you This is my job. And to get your way, let me tell you, man, this is my job. And here's the thing. I don't want payment for helping people. Just knowing that people are doing better, that's payment enough for me. Helping people is what I was put on this earth to do, and that's what I will continue to do. I will continue to help those that I can, however I can, whether it's being a friend, being a brother, being someone to lean on, someone to talk to, someone to confide in, I will continue to be that 
and talk dead in the ground. Yes, I have other things that I'm working on that I will be making money at very, very soon. I have several projects in the works that I will be making money at that will become my job because I will not stand here and be some fucking lack jaw slack jaw junkie for the trolls to beat up on. And that's something that you need to realize, Gibbity Wing. These people doing this shit, all the attacks, all the trolls, they're the bad guys. They're the ones doing all this shit. So why don't you wake your dead ass up and realize what's going on? No, they actually have me on standby because they have enough people already. So, until that, until then, you know, I'm doing stuff like this. Like I said, I do still have that job on the lock, but there is somebody that managed to fill in right before me. But they do have me on standby, which I'm super glad about. But in the meantime, until that job happens, I'm going to do my real job, helping people. That's what I was meant to do. That's what God put me on this earth for, to help people like myself. Because look at me. Take a look at what I've been through. All the terrorism, the attacks, the bullying, the hatred, the suicide presses. And what I mean by suicide presses is people pushing me to suicide. Because of these people, I almost ended my life twice in a row. Two times over, I attempted to take my life because of these people. And after the second time of surviving, I knew I was meant for something more. And that something more is helping people like me. Spreading awareness, spreading positivity, being that light in the darkness. And if you can't get behind somebody who's trying to stop hatred and oppression and terrorism, then what are you doing with your life? Let me ask you this, Giggity Wing. What are you doing to stop these people? What are you doing to stop and prevent their terrorism? Because that's exactly what they're doing, is terrorism. So I ask you this, what are you doing to help? Because I don't see you doing anything. Except sitting there talking about what people should and shouldn't do. I don't see you stepping up to make a difference. I don't see you stepping up and taking the mantle for those that have passed away. I don't see you doing anything. So unless you got a plan that will ultimately destroy these people, then what are you doing? Like I said, man, did you ever start thinking that maybe I don't have that luxury of getting a job? Did you ever think about that? Did you ever start thinking that maybe the trolls took away me being able to get a regular job? Did you ever think about that? No, you didn't.
because I don't have that luxury. Why? Because the trolls ruined that. They ruined me being able to get a regular job by spreading false lies about me that were not true. And now, no one wants to hire me at all. So yeah, I don't have that luxury. I wish I did, but I don't. I wish I had the luxury of getting a regular job, but I don't. So I have to make do with what I got. I have to make use of what I have around me. Which is what I'm quite good at doing. Making use of what I have around me. So continuing, unless you have a fucking plan to reach out to those that have been victimized, or you have a fucking plan to shut these guys down for good, I suggest you keep your mouth shut. I'm not trying to hate on you. I'm not trying to be a dick. But unless you have a way to stop this terrorism for good, then I suggest stopping right now. And we see I was doing that for a time. For a short time I was doing that. And then guess what? My channel blew up and I started making money. And then what happened when I started making money? The trolls shut me down because they saw that I was making very real money doing what I love. Which is why I had to start over from the very beginning once again. Does that piss me off that I have to start over? Yeah, but you know what? I'm used to it. I have no problem starting over. Don't spend hours or days of your life aimlessly scrolling through a catalogue of mediocre music when you can just... Before I start the song, giggity wing, listen, I have not been convicted. Take a look. Seriously, look up my public record. I have never once been charged with being a fucking pedophile. Seriously, look it up. Look up my public record. You will not find an ounce of it anywhere. At all. Don't believe me? Do your research. Look me up. Look up my record. I've never once been convicted of anything even remotely close to pedophilia. Yes, I've made a few mistakes along the way, but you know what? I wrote those wrongs. 
It's time for you to let that shit go. That's in the past. The past is the past. Leave it in the past. Judge me not by my past, but by what I am currently doing. Yes, I've made a few mistakes along the way, but you know what? I've manned up. I've owned those mistakes. I have owned them many times over. So if you want to do some research for yourself and find out that I'm not a pedophile, by all means, I welcome you. Oh, by the way, those assault charges got dropped. Why? Because the dumb fuck never showed up for court. So yeah. Never got charged for that. Because one, the dude never showed up. So all charges got dropped. Now this final song right here, I want to dedicate to everyone that has stood beside me this whole time. Oh, by the way, that project Ain't me. That ain't my shit. The young Cyrex shit, that's not me. You know who that is? That's Bay Shaman's little bitch ass. Now, let's start this over.
step into Wix Studio, the new web creation platform. And yo, get it away. I have no songs out as of right now. I have not released any albums in since like 2018 was the last time I released an album. Now, in 2024, I will be releasing music. I will be releasing an album. So all the music that you guys have been buying, that's not mine. That's people using my voice and making music off of my name. Those people have been taking my music, taking my name, taking my voice, and doing shit that isn't my doing. So unless it comes from me, unless it comes directly from me, and you guys hear me say on a live stream or in a video that I have music out, So unless you guys hear me say for myself that I have music out and you see me say it on a live stream or in a video, then I can tell you right now, it's not my doing. Unless you hear me say, hey, I got music out, go check it out, it's not mine. Anything that is put out under the young Cyrax name is based shaman's doing, not my own. But giggity wing, I appreciate you letting me know what's going on. And I will be taking care of that in due time in a man in a factual and one manner. I do appreciate you letting me know, man. I do genuinely appreciate you letting me know what's going on. So now I can take care of that. Now I can put a stop to what's going on. But uh with that being said guys. I fucking love you guys. And, uh, yeah. I've got music to get back to recording. And, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow with some brand new music gear. Because I did a some new music gear that'll be here tomorrow. So, yay. Do I have any New Year's resolutions? Yeah. All right, take it easy, get it away. Be safe, man. Do I have any New Year's resolutions? My New Year's resolution to get back to being myself. To be the person that I used to be eight years ago. That's my resolution. To fully get back to being myself again. That's my resolution. But with that being said, guys, I fucking love y'all. And I'll catch you guys later, man. I will see you guys tomorrow with a brand new gear. Cause I have a brand new mic setup coming, so that'll be fun. Got a brand new mic setup coming, man. I'm super stoked. And uh, yeah, I love you guys. And for all my fans and supporters that know where my kick is, I will see you guys here in just a couple of days over on kick. And with that being said, I love you guys, and I'm out of here, y'all. As always, stay humble, stay positive. Fuck the hatred. Keep being yourself. And if you see someone getting bullied or attacked, stand up for them. Say something. Do not be silent. Fucking defend them. And with that being said, I love you guys. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.